Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you solve this question of your NCRT textbook which says Find by distributivity method the product of following given numbers. So, first let us learn the distributive law of multiplication over addition which says C are three whole numbers, then the product of A with B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. So this law is a key idea which will help to find the product with the help of distributive method. So let us now start with the solution and the first one is 728 into 101. Now, 101 can be written as 100 plus 1. Now, on observing this, we find that it is of the form A into B plus C, where A is equal to 728, B is equal to 100, and C is equal to 1. So, on applying the distributive law, we have 728 into 100 plus 728 into 1, which is equal to, on multiplying 728 with 100, we get 72800, plus on multiplying 728 with 1, we get 728, which is equal to 73528. And hence, the answer of first part is 73528. So, this completes the first part. And now, proceeding on to the next one, which is 5437 into 1001. Now, it can further be written as 5437 into thousand plus one. Thousand plus one is equal to one thousand one. And now applying the distributive law of multiplication over addition, we have five four three seven into thousand plus five four three seven into one. This is by a key idea. And on multiplying five four three seven with thousand we get five four three seven 0, 0, 0, plus, and on multiplying 5, 4, 3, 7 with 1, we get the number itself. And now, on adding 5, 4, 3, 7, 0, 0, 0, well, 5, 4, 3, 7, we get 5, 4, 4, 2, 4, 3, 7. And hence, the value of second part is 5, 4, 4, 2, 437. So this completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the next one, which is 824 into 25. 824 as it is, and 25 can be written as 20 plus 5 which is equal to 824 into 20 plus 824 into 5. This is by the distributive law of multiplication over addition, which is our key idea. Which is further equal to, on multiplying 824 with 20, we get 16480. And on multiplying 824 with 5, we get 4120. And the sum of these two numbers is equal to 20600. And thus the value of third part is equal to 20600. So this completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the next one, which is 
4275 into 125 which is equal to 4275 into 125 can be written as 100 plus 25 which is equal to 4275 into 100 plus 4275 into 25. This is again by the distributive law of multiplication which is our key idea. And on multiplying 4275 with 100 we get 427500 and on multiplying 4275 with 25 we get 106875. And now on adding we get 5 3, 4, 3, 7, 5. And thus the value of D part is 5, 3, 4, 3, 7, 5. So this completes the D part. And now proceeding on to the last one. Where we have to find the product of 504 and 35 with the help of Distributive law of multiplication. So as we have observed in the above four problems, this law makes the multiplication easier of large numbers and also it makes the multiplication convenient. So again proceeding further we have 504 and 35 can be written as 30 plus 5. Now, again by the distributive law of multiplication, over addition we have 504 into 30 plus 504 into 5 and on multiplying 504 with 30 we get 1, 5, 1, 2, 0 and on multiplying 504 with 5 we get 2520. Now in adding these two numbers we get 17640. And hence the value of last part is 17640. So this completes the fifth part and you just have to learn the property of distributivity and it will make your multiplication easy and quick. So Bye and take care. Have a nice day.